Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Success by Any Means morning mindset call. Today is Monday, and who I am, my name is Carlton Lewis, a.k.a. Melo Melanin, coming to you live and direct from Atlanta, Georgia, the Southeast Beast, the Conquering Chief, Your Highness, the Finest, Prosperity Don, number one, and today we're going to talk about the theme, the theme of this topic today is, is, is pretty important. The topic is be careful who you take advice from. Be careful who you take advice from. And I got this lesson from my real estate mentor, uh, Ron Legrand, and it, it proves true every day when I think about this lesson. Um, one time I went to Ron and I was, you know, I was first learning real estate and, you know, uh, nothing was happening. I'll put it that way. I wasn't really making any money with it. And, um, you know, I had a chance to go talk to him and I asked him one question and he gave me about four or five answers in the form of questions that let me know that I wasn't doing the right thing. So, and I trusted his judgment because he was a multimillionaire. He made his first million dollars doing real estate. And uh, he made uh, several million. He's probably close to a, a billionaire at this point. But the, the point is you have to be careful who you're listening to. So you can't, if you're looking to generate more money, then you can't, I won't say can't, I would say you shouldn't listen to broke friends or family, somebody that just doesn't know. People listen to broke friends, family, coworkers about how to generate money, and they're pretty much at the same level where you are. You know, if a person is not, uh, I would say, 10 times the level of where you are right now, especially where money is concerned, then they're probably not the best person to listen to. Other areas where you should, you should definitely uh, be careful who you take advice from is career advice because a lot of people can't see, especially a person that has a, um, has a day in, day out existence. They might, they, they, or, or they don't, a person that's not living their dream they can't really tell you about how to live your dream. No one really can tell you how to live your dream um, who's not really living their dream, you know. Now, you may have some people that say, go for it, you know. Oh, you got a dream. You can do it. You're really good. Go for it, you know. And, and that's good. You got to have positive reinforcement. That's good. But in the grand scheme of things, you know, a person like a per you got to be careful who you listen to because somebody may come to you and say, "Well, you know, that's a pipe dream. You know, you should give that up." You know, and as another example, when I was in the entertainment industry, pretty heavy, um, a lot of people would say, "Oh, you're still doing the rap thing, man. You're still doing the rap thing." Well, the rap thing actually took me to travel all across the United States. The rap thing allowed me to travel and, and go on tour with a living legend like the Blastmaster KRS-One in California for two weeks where he paid for the tour, basically. So the point, the point is you've got to be very careful who you take advice from. You know, people people may have they may they may be afraid for you because they're afraid to do something themselves. So if you let that you let them project their fear upon you, then you're gonna have some problems. You're not gonna make the best decisions. You make you make squash your dream without it even getting started good. And in the book of Proverbs it says Proverbs 12.1, it says, whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. 
I'm going to repeat that again, all right? This is Proverbs 12.1. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. And when you have, when you have mentorship, when you have someone that's, that's, that's guiding you, you know, you got to be able to take the good stuff that they say that makes you feel warm and fuzzy along with the, 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 the fire water that they bring to you, the stinging bars that you may get when they tell you, oh, no, you, you know, this is a better way to do this. Why would you do this? Do it this way. You know, case in point, uh, one of my mentors, um, Diane Hockman, she said uh, uh, she had given us some instructions to, to, to get more people. And what that meant was in, in, in marketing, especially network marketing, you build your list of people, right? And you, you always want to be continually building your list. And her simple instructions was get more people. But some people in the group, they start saying uh, things that were like spinoffs of that. They like say things like serve more people and all of that. That's not what she was saying. She's saying get more people, meaning build your list, continually build your list because your list becomes, you know, that becomes your tribe of people that, that support you and you support them as far as your business is concerned. So her, her advice was dead on. I took her advice and I started growing my list. Um, you know, I had been growing, growing, growing my list. I grew my list on Facebook. I grew my list on Instagram. I grew my email newsletter list. Um, just, you know, just with that thinking in mind, so every day I grow my list. That's, that's a goal of mine, to get more people, and I'm starting to see more leads every day show up in my inbox saying I, I got new leads because I've, I'm growing my list and I'm doing things to grow my list. And I hope you, I hope you get these these points, you know, um, about correction. You know, you got to be careful who you take advice from. You know, you got to be looking at the person. If you're going to take advice from the person, look at the results that they're getting in their life. Are those the type of results that you want to get? I'll repeat that. Are those the type of results that you want to get in your life and in your business? If, if, if that person has those type of results, then they know how to do it. That's a person that you should listen to. So you got not just, you know, not just listening to what, what, but doing, doing what they say do. You can, you can hear, you can hear, you can take a bunch of notes, but if you don't implement what they're saying, you're not going to get the results. Um, I'll tell you another story. Um, my newest mentor is Joe Schroeder, and Joe happens to be Diane Hockman's mentor as well, so, uh, which is a blessing for me. I won't go into that, but that's a, that's, a real, that's, a real, um, that's a real great thing that I stumbled up on because I was paying attention and because I was listening. Uh, Joe gave me some correction last week. And, you know, he said, you got to do your diligence. You know, you got to listen. And you got to be, you got to be, you got to be committed. You know, when, when a, a, a millionaire speaks, multimillionaire, a millionaire maker speaks to you, and if that's what you're looking for, you might not need a millionaire mentor. You may, you may, you may need your correction in the area of health or fitness or, or whatever. There are so many different areas where you can get mentorship in. But the point is, when someone gives you correction, you got to just don't listen to it, but go do something with it. So, you know, I pondered for about a day on, on what Joe said to me. And what he said to me was gold. He gave me like six different things really quick <laughs> because a lot of people like that, a good mentor, especially a millionaire mentor, they don't waste their time. 
They don't waste it. They're very funny about their time, and they're very funny about who they lend it to. So when you get, when you get a good mentor, you've got to be open to correction. All right, so how do you find a good mentor? You're probably wondering that. How do you find a good mentor? You know, there's all kinds of people out here. Do, you have to have, do they have to be in your presence physically in order to get mentorship? The answer is no. You can find mentors through books. Uh, we got the Internet now. You can study people online, you know, and some of their works and some of their actions. And um, you can also find them live, you know, so, and, and it's good to have a combination. And here's a, here's a call to action. What I want you to do, if you don't have a mentor yet, is to look at, look at take five people, five people, and people who you like their results or you with their, their information or their life resonates with you. That means it, 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 it makes you feel good and they have the results that you're looking for. They have the type of results that you're looking for in your life and in your business. Find five people and start studying them. That's it. That's your task for this week. Find five people and start studying them. It's not, that's not hard to do. There are billions of people on the planet. There have got to be at least five people who, <laughs> there have got to be at least five people who have a level have a level of living or a level of success that you admire and that you would like to see duplicated or replicated in your life. And what happens is these five people, they become like your advisory council. So when you start going down the road of life or in, in your business and you, you, you're moving along on the road of life in your business and you come up against a roadblock, Generally, they have the answer because they've been there, done that. They can get you the answer. You know, someone who, someone who hasn't been down that road is like someone who's not a millionaire can't tell you how to make a million dollars, literally, seriously. Most of your coworkers, most of your family, most of your friends can't tell you how to make a million dollars if they've never made a million dollars. So there's your call to action. I mean, there's your, there's your action steps. Your call to action is to go to my website, www.whoiscarlton.com, and subscribe. And if you subscribe to my, subscribe to my newsletter, I'll send you a free Facebook marketing cheat sheet on how you can start to generate leads for your business. It doesn't matter what business it is on Facebook. And Facebook is an excellent way to generate leads for your business. So you got a couple of you got a couple of things that you need to do. You need to pick five people and whether they have whether they're in the flesh with you or you can get to them physically or not, you need to find five people and you need to start studying them. You need to make those five people your advisory council, okay? And that way you start to get their, the mindset, their mindset, how they overcome obstacles. You, you'll start to see, you know, when things pop up, you'll start to see those obstacles just kind of fall. You know, they won't be as difficult when you have a mentor to guide you through it. And they'll tell you how to do the work. And once you get in the situations, it makes it a whole lot easier to overcome the situations. And the second call to action is to subscribe to my newsletter. There's, uh, I send out a newsletter. There's valuable information there that can help you build your business and with uh, the right mindset, the right leadership tips, and the right marketing tips. And what I call it, I say real mindset, leadership, and marketing tips you can use for your business. And that's the truth, all right? So we're going to go ahead and wrap this call up. This is Carlton Lewis, a.k.a. 
Mellow Melanin coming to you live and direct from Atlanta, Georgia, the Southeast Beast, the Conquering Chief, Your Highness, the Finest, Prosperity Done, number one, signing out. Hope you have a, a prosperous week. Bye-bye.